to some random place? Yeah. Okay, let's go to some random place and candy for lunch. First mission is crossing the roads. Oh, I'm just trying to survive in candy without getting injured. That's all I'm trying to do. That's for a non-vegetarian restaurant. A non-vegetarian restaurant, yeah. <laughs> After we we did this exploration in Jaffna and ended up eating like v potato dosa and stuff. I want some meat. There's my favorite place in any city in Sri Lanka, Cargills. The one place you're guaranteed to be able to buy Coke Zero and buy it at the set normal price of 70 rupees per bottle. That's what I like. I like to see that sign, that red Cargill sign. I fancy eating anything that's meat and uh, has some Sri Lankan spice to it. Look at this guy, he's like well hidden from the sun. He's not gonna get sunburned at all. Your man though, in shorts and t-shirt, bought with the Factor, oh it's Factor 30, it's still wearing that Factor 30 that I got in bloody Indonesia. I need to upgrade to Factor 50, otherwise I will be like a, a lobster. I'll be like that cargo sign, bright red. Okay, so I've just walked up this street and we're gonna go check this place out, Green Cafe. I think it looks international. Just squeeze through here. This uh, this mixed kotu, does that have everything that's yeah, listed there? Beef, wow, egg, fish, chicken, beef, sausages, yeah. prawn, and cuttlefish, all in one kotu. Wow, I wanna try that. That sounds good. Yeah, one mixed kotu. A little bit spicy, just a little bit, just a little bit. I can handle it a little bit. And uh, you have Coke Zero. No, there is no soft drinks. No soft drinks. Lime juice, pineapple, and papaya. Okay, lime juice is good, yeah. Okay, so the kotu has arrived. Look at this feast, everything in there. The fresh, the beef, the chicken, the egg, the, wow, I don't even know, just loads of stuff. Carrot, cuttlefish, prawns. That's when you do your Mark Wien space. When you eat something delicious like this, mate, this is pretty damn good. The beef's nice and chewy on the inside, crispy on the outside. Look at that. Nice big lump of beef. Mm. Much better than a very ordinary biryani, mate. Much better than that. This is what you want to be eating. Mixed kotu. Absolutely fantastic. This is, I'd say this is the best kotu I've had in Sri Lanka, actually. Really? Yeah. That's better than the one I had in Kulawus. Just because there's like so much different flavours and everything in here, it's pretty special. Okay, so I've left Wonder Boy in that restaurant to get dessert. Meanwhile, I'm going to go for a wee hike. He's getting fatter while your man's getting leaner. Well, Kinda have no choice after eating a heavy meal like Kotu. You gotta burn off some calories. Anyway, up here and to the right, there's a place called Udawala Kelly, and that is uh, some kind of nature reserve, nature trail. A nice wee place so you can go for a wee stroll with some monkeys and snakes and all that. So that's what I'm gonna do. Go for a wee stroll, a wee hike. Okay, here we go. Royal Forest Park, Udawata, Kelly, Candy, 150 meters up this way. How many people were in that tuk-tuk? Like 150? Well, noisy prick. Well, 150 meters up this way. I'll enter this park, get away from the tuk-tuks and have some nice, oh, I'm already feeling the nice fresh air from the trees, that scent. It's already nice. I'm still on the main road, but when I get into there, I think I'm going to be enjoying this a lot more. Oh, aye. Oh, aye. Yeah, yeah, we just been there. 
Oh, you just been to Adamata yeah, Kelly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to be in my video? Yeah. <laughs> she has just, she recognized me from her videos and says yeah. she has just been in Uduwata Kelly. So maybe you can tell me all about it because I just seen it literally on Google Maps and it yeah. looks green. Yeah. Something green and candy, I'm going to go and check it out. Yeah, you have to check it out yeah. because it's a very different place in candy. Yeah. In this hustle and bustle. Yes, that's what uh, I want. That's, that's the thing. That's the best and I just ate koto, so I'm coming to burn off some calories. I'm going to oh, exercise. Yeah, some koto. <laughs> Maybe five minutes ago I ate the koto. Mixed koto, I had everything. <laughs> Beef and chicken and oh. prawns and cuttlefish and everything. So now I need to burn some calories. This is the way you have to burn it. Yes, yeah. and Uduwata Kelly. Yeah. Uh, okay, how, how many minutes do you think it will take me for me to go all the way around? All the way around? Yeah. Uh, it's a huge place. Uh, really, huh? I don't but I have two strong legs. I think I can do this then fast. Then you can uh, finish it around uh, 45 minutes. 45 minutes? Oh, yeah. that's good. That sounds good to me. Yeah. There's a viewpoint also. Oh, really? Oh, that's yeah. nice. I can In see candy from there. You can see all of the candy. Oh, yeah. that makes it worth it when you get a nice view. And uh, there is a... Uh, a lot of places. And that's where you've caves. just been. You were up at the yeah, viewpoint. Yeah. Oh, okay. A lot of caves. Oh, caves. places to explore. Yeah, that yeah. sounds really good. Oh, so did you you went to the viewpoint just to relax and this yeah, is yeah, so you live in Candy, yeah? Yeah, I live ah, in Candy. So I this is a nice place for you to oh, this yeah. is a nice place for you to come and just yeah. relax. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> good. And, uh, <laughs> even I got to know all these places from foreigners' vlogs. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. In my vlogs, I went to Ohia and I went to oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, oh here I went to um, uh, Topagala. I hiked to the Topagala Rock. You know Topagala. Topigala. Yeah, Topagala. I hiked this. I have one video on this. Yeah. You are the person. I have seen you. Yeah, I know you have seen me. You have seen me. Yeah. You are the person. <laughs> yes, I went to Topagala. Topagala. Yeah. People saying, what kind of man he is? He's I walked to them. I walking to Topagala. Yeah, they, yeah. They, are, they are telling it in Singhala. Yeah, because they are army there. What kind of man they, he is? He's walking to Topagala. Yeah, no problem. The man's got two strong legs. That's why I tell them. No problem walking to Topagala. So you like this video, right? Me and my brother was talking about you yeah. uh, a week ago. I think. Ah, really? Yes, there's a man who walked to Topagala. Yes. yes, I am that man with two strong legs. We did it. And I did it. I did it. I really did it. It was good, and I enjoyed nice it. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you Very too. Nice to meet you. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, make sure you subscribe, though. You and promised. Share. And bell icon. And share. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Enjoy your enjoy your life in uh, Badola, and hope you uh, finish and your you training and get a good job. Also subscribe to him, <laughs> uh, share his videos, and uh, click the bell icon. I didn't ask her to say that. Yeah. She just said it. She just I said just it. I just met him, and I love him. So. Do that. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. It was nice to meet you guys. Yeah. Okay. Okay, see you. See bye, you. bye. Bye. Okay. Okay, let's start this hike then. Apparently, the lady's saying 45 minutes to go all the way around it or to the viewpoint. She said there is a beautiful viewpoint where we can see the whole candy. So that'll be nice, won't it? Here we go. Udawata, Kelly. And this looks like something I'm probably going to have to pay to get into. Just looking that way in it with that kind of gate. Let's see, in Jaffna everything was free, the fort, the pool, and what about this? Maybe this is just an area where they're checking you for plastic bottles. I do have one, there's nobody here. Do I just walk through? Hi, how are you? Uh, hi, you want me to sign something or what? Huh? I want to go hiking. You are by ticket. By ticket, oh, okay, how much is the ticket? One ticket, 662. One, 662. That's a weird number, 662. Uh, department price. Department price, ah, oh, okay. You I want to go to the viewpoint. Just take a photo of this map. This take a map. photo of this yes, map. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, okay. It's okay, I have Google Maps on my phone. It's the same, yeah. It's the same as what I see on Google. Okay. Oh, Okay, 662. How much is a local price? Uh, local price? Google 100. Maps. 100 for locals and 662. Hello. Google yeah. Maps? Google Maps? Yeah, I have Google Maps. Because it, it looks the same as this. I think um, Google Maps actually has more detail. So. Oh, this is a GoPro, GoPro. Yeah. Okay, this for me? Yes. It's my change and my ticket. Your ticket. Uh, okay, I start walking now. Your okay. walking start. Oh. Okay. This we, we are here? We are here. Yes. Yeah, have go right hand, meet Fo Johnson, turn right. Okay. CCT point, information. Yes. And come for Johnson. Uh -huh. Go right hand. Uh -huh. Come back this place. Okay. Five and a half kilometers. Five and a half kilometers. Okay, what time is closing? We close 5.30. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.
Okay, so I've just come through the gates and there's already loads of wee monkeys. They're not trying to attack me. Look, I'm holding the GoPro right in front of his face. And he's not too bothered about snatching it out of my hand. And look at you, wee cutie. Aren't you adorable? Aren't you lovely? So, they're not like the monkeys that you see at tourist traps that are trying to grab stuff out of your hand. Oh look, she's feeding it or something. A bit of koto. Are you koto, yeah? <laughs> Looks like we're all eating koto today. Oh, lovely wee thing, aren't you? So, these things, adorable. Like I'm saying, not the kind of monkeys you get at the tourist traps that try and attack you and steal your coconut and that type of thing. Anyway, the lady said, the trail I want to take around here, don't go to the left, she says, go right. And then when you go right, you go right some more. And when you go right, you go right even more. And that takes you on a wee tour around the place. So that's what I'm going to do. Apparently this is called the Royal Pond. I don't know what's so royal about it. Maybe back in the Candian King days. This is where they came to relax. Who knows, I'm just making up history, guys. But it's a nice idea, isn't it? Hi. Look at this, someone has dropped some glasses. They're down here. I wonder who these belong to. Anybody lose some glasses? I just found them there. I just found these glasses there. Not yours. Did you see anyone else coming back that way? Maybe you could take them and if you see someone ask them. They look like a cheap pair, like maybe just a fake pair of Ray-Bans or something, but maybe you could... We can take it to the... To the oh yeah, give it to the office, that's probably the yeah. best, yeah, but they're like lying literally there, so somebody just dropped them out their yeah. pocket or something. We'll you just finished the trail, did you? Yeah. Yes. You went in the opposite direction from me, I guess, then. Okay. She told me, go right, start right. Oh, we, we go uh, left. You went left, ah, oh, okay. So is it nice? Uh, do you have something to look forward to? But there was uh, one sign to a, to a viewpoint. Viewpoint? But you didn't go to the viewpoint? We, we yeah, but went there, but no viewpoint. <laughs> you, you cannot be uh, above the forest. You really, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's disappointing. But you can go to the, to the peak, so... You can go to the peak, but it's not a viewpoint, it's just no, the peak. Yeah. It's yeah. the peak. Oh. Yeah. oh, my heart is broken. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, oh. That's really nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. There, oh. There's uh, Liang coming. Yeah. Oh. You can uh, do some salsa and stuff. Yes. Oh really? Huh? <laughs> you did it? Completely yes. stable. Yeah. Oh really? Huh? Yeah. That's near the peak as well? It's, it's just around 200, 200 meters. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go do that then. Have fun. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> see you guys, see you, bye. Okay. Well, hopefully those glasses find their way back to their home. And apparently there's something I can do with some wood or climbing or something. I didn't really understand. I just kind of like nodded my head. Uh, what he was saying and said, oh really? Well, apparently 500, 200, 100 meters up here, I can climb up some wood or something. So let's have a look. Okay, another crossroads. This time the sign's in English though. Confirming that right is the correct way to go. Candy Town viewpoint to the right. And hopefully it is an actual viewpoint. That's the lady promised me. Not, that's those Frenchies. I think they were French. Not, that's those Frenchies said. That there's no viewpoint that you can actually see through the trees. Well, I can see there's stuff down here. This is like a cliff edge or something. So surely if I just cut my way through that grass, I'll be able to see something. But let's follow the path and see where it goes. Oh, here we go. It is a viewpoint. Well, kind of a viewpoint. Well, I guess the guys were right. It's a viewpoint, but you're kind of blocked with all these trees and stuff, isn't it? Aye. I guess that's it, the same, it's just all grassy stuff up there. Can I actually get on this tree? Well, there you go anyway. I'm pretty sure the viewpoint from up there at that big temple, the big Buddha statue right there, I'm pretty sure that's a better viewpoint than this one. I don't know if you have to pay to get into that one. Probably you do, you don't you? You need to pay for everything. Uh, so, ah, is this it? <sighs> Wee bit disappointing, to be honest with you. But, pfft. I didn't even know there was a viewpoint when I started this. It's just that woman got my hopes up. I just thought I was going for a wee stroll. So that's what I'll continue to do. Unless this tree could be something to have a wee play on, couldn't it? Can I have a wee play on this? Let me see. Hmm. There we go. Opa. Oh, this is nice. Hey, hey, oh, this is good. A wee bit of relaxation in the trees. That is until some fellow hikers start coming and disturb me. I can get a nice wee seat. Oh, this is actually quite comfortable. Maybe if I took the bag off, it would be more comfortable. Ah, oh, there we go. Just sit here all day, shall I? 
just need a Coke Zero in my hand and it would be perfect. Aye, that would be nice. So it would. Aye. Oh, okay, let's continue this hike. Let's continue onwards and see if there's a better view than this through this grassy stuff. You think they would just chop all this down and let you have like this nice view as you walk around, wouldn't you? I mean, it's nice and stuff. You want to be trailing along through all the green stuff, but I mean, with this beautiful view, look at this, somebody has tried to make their own little view spot right there. Candy Lake right down there. Again, just blocked by all this grass. I mean, it is blocked by the trees, but this is doing the most of the blocking. I don't understand. It looks like they've purposely grown this. Look, I think that's, that's in Singhalese, isn't it? But that looks like it's some sort of project for them to grow this stuff. They're actually growing it to block the view. Why would you do that? In fact, maybe this is the official view. There's a wee sign here and a wee place, a wee octagon. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. This is the better view. Those guys were talking nonsense. They were talking mince. This is a, this is a brilliant view. This is amazing. Look at this. Candy Lake there, the sun reflecting off it, beautiful, all those houses on the hills there, I guess they're mostly hotels and stuff aren't they, but oh aye, imagine the view they've got every morning, looking out onto the lake, and then the main candy city there, aye this is nice, so the woman wasn't lying, it is actually a nice viewpoint, lovely, very nice indeed. So nice and clean this park, at least I've invested the money in staff cleaning up the litter and stuff like that that anybody would leave. There's not, I've not, I haven't seen a single piece of litter in this park so far, so that's lovely. Well, apart from, just as I said that, I just noticed right here, somebody's thrown down some plastic, tut tut. I guess now I'm looking for it. Before I wasn't looking for it and I didn't notice it, but I guess there are a few bits and pieces. But overall, this is pretty clean, and so I'm enjoying this. That's what you want when you're out in nature. You want it to be natural. Oh, what is this? A deer! A deer in candy! That's the first deer I've seen anywhere in Sri Lanka other than Trinko Mali. An actual deer. I don't know how candy had deers. <laughs> I guess maybe in this, only in this park they have them. Well, that's a surprise. So, oh, there's more up there. No, that's dogs. <laughs> it's just a brown dog, not a deer. Well, I've seen monkeys and deer so far. They promised me there were snakes around here. What's this building? Something office. Information office. Should we go in? Is it like a wee museum type scenario? Let's see what they're saying in here. All right. Oh, how are you? What is in this building? Just uh, for looking? Looking, ah, okay. They've got some paintings and stuff like that. And what is this? Some kind of weird Hambawa, some kind of weird flying bat. Look at the bloody size of it. That is huge. Is this something that exists or something that's extinct or what? I don't know what this is. Imagine if that's real. You get one of them attacking you. It's wee claws and it's sharp wee teeth. Looks like a chipmunk, doesn't it? A chipmunk's face, a bat's body and about the size of a bloody cat. <laughs> what else is in here? A fishing cat. Is this something that's in Sri Lanka? In 2008, the fishing cat is an endangered species. So aye, it is something that's in Sri Lanka, but an endangered species. There's a bloody massive spider in that one. Oh, look, there's one there outside its, outside its bottle. <laughs> uh, so they're just telling you about nature and stuff, I guess. All the different things that you can find in Sri Lanka. All the scary stuff. All the slimy reptiles in that. All the cheeky bee monkeys, right up to the wild boars for the mammals there. And of course the big owls. I've seen a couple of them in the Monaria National Park. There's some owls going around and some eagles. And then the butterflies. Aye, very nice. A lot of stuff going on in Sri Lanka. What's through here? Through the curtains? Am I supposed to go down through here? Uh, no, maybe not. That's like staff room or something. I guess it's all these are like oh, it's somebody's office. Well, I guess that's it. That's just they're telling you about all the wildlife and about all the flowers and stuff. I'm less interested in the flowers than I am in the, the beasties and the snakes and the boars and all that. So anyway, that was nice. Continue with our trek. 
Right. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. I'm just going to keep going right again at a crossroads. Right, 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 right. And that should take me on a big loop all the way around. Hello. How are you? Okay. We doggies here. Hello, we doggies. Are you part of the wildlife? Are you part of the wildlife in this Udawakili Park? Huh? Not interested in me? Huh? How are you? Oh, you tired? She's tired. Oh, she's tired. She's yawning. Ah, oh, a wee bit scared of me, which I like. I'd rather a dog was scared of me than a dog was not scared of me in the opposite way, and then I'm ending up being scared of it. Well, again, signs. So I'm just going to have to choose right and trust that that is the right way to go. And look, another wee friend. Monkey boy! Monkey boy! Hello, monkey boy. How are you? Can I sit down next to you? How are you, mate? How's your day going? Ate many bananas today. What have you been eating? What do you eat in this park? You eating the leaves? Is there some nice fruit for you to eat? What do you eat? Why aren't you interested in me? Huh? We are wee cute face. What are you saying to it? Nothing. Nothing at all. Ignoring me. Look, looking everywhere apart from directly at me. Come on, I want attention. Look, you're live on YouTube. Well, not live, it's recorded. But you're on YouTube. Look, you're famous. What's he found? He's found something. What, you found a snake? Is that a cobra? Well, thanks for the warning. There's a way to kill it, hopefully. And, uh, aye, this is nice. Another building. I wonder what this one is. But, sounds like a warning to me, doesn't it? That sounds like a warning. Snakes are on the loose. Oh, this is the road that I came up, I think. He's still barking. What do you want to? What do you? What do you want to tell me, mate? What do you want to tell me? Oh, okay. Well, this looks like a dead end. I thought I was going through a loop. What is this place? It's a bungalow, huh? So I guess somebody living there. Forest Department Circuit bungalow. And down here, what? Just some road. Don't know if I'm supposed to come down this way. If I've come in the wrong direction or what, but let's take a wee look. What are you barking at? Looks like a wee bungalow down here. Somebody living here. Look at that old car. Amazing. This dog following me. I don't think, I think I've come the wrong direction. How are you? I think I've come in the wrong direction because the dog, I don't think he's barking at me. I think, okay, well it turns out I've just had a dead end and the dog, it looks like the dog's barking at me because he's just chased me all the way down barking. And this looks like I've come into somebody's house. For some reason, somebody has their house in Udawa Kelly Park. And he's chased me, and as soon as I've done a U-turn and headed back, he's run away from me. So it was just the front, was it? It was just the front, watch. He'll come and follow me again. Look, here he comes. So he's chasing me, but as soon as I turn back, he's running away, you scaredy cat. You're bluffing, mate. Called your bluff, called your bluff. I came the wrong way, yes? This your house? Ah, uh, yes. uh, there's a new road. No road, there's no road here. Ah, uh, I came through the information center and I turned right. Open? No, it's closed. Ah, yeah. uh, uh, I think I went the wrong way. I'll go back to the information center. Uh, but this is your house? Yes. Uh, okay. This your uh, car here? The blue one? i seen it coming down. This your car? Can I look? You have many old cars? Yes, my brother-in-law is uh, doing business. He's doing a business or he's like uh, maintaining them or renovating no, them? Uh, no, no, he's... Uh, Selling all these things. Oh, he's yeah. selling them. Ah, where is he getting them from? He's finding them broken yeah. and making yeah. them working. Yeah. Ah, okay. It's an old Toyota Camry, right? Wow. No, no. It's a Mitsubishi Gemini. Oh, really? Huh? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that that was. Uh, it's a false ah. logo. It's a France logo. False, false, false. False. It's a false logo. So they've just put on Camry on top of it. Ah, ah okay. I understand. 
Ah, so it's not a real Totter Camry. They've just stuck this, stuck this on it. Ah, okay, I understand. Wow. So how how are you living in this park? This is like a this is like a, um, it's a house. It's this is your house, ah, but you must have been living it's here. My house is my sister's house. Ah, you must have been living here for many generations, right? Uh, no, yeah, second generation. Second, second generation, ah. So you actually have to come through the gates of no, this no, no, Ottawa Kelly. Same way. We are yeah. Coming. We are passing that house. That yes. Uh huh. Ah, oh, really? Are you the only house or? Yes, this house and that house. Oh, wow. This one is the bungalow, circuit bungalow. Yeah. The up one. Oh, wow. That's interesting. I didn't expect to see anybody living inside this uh, like yeah, park area. The... Yeah, oh, this is a beautiful view. It is, it is. It's amazing. Can I look from here? Yes, yes. Oh, wow. You have a better view than the viewpoint. Wow. <laughs> this is incredible. Look at this. Just a view of the mountains here, living inside the park. That's amazing. Oh, wow. You have a very nice place. I must feel very peaceful to live here. Yeah, fresh air every morning. Oh wow, so nice to see your place. Okay, I will continue with my hike. It was nice to meet you. My name is Dale. I'm from Scotland. And what is your name, sir? I'm Numan. Numan? Numan. Nimal. Nimal. Okay, pleased to meet you, Mr. Nimal. Okay, see you. Goodbye. Okay, that's nice, isn't it? Just a family living in this big house with a beautiful view inside the park with a dog that chases people who try and intrude <laughs> honestly didn't mean to invade that guy's private residence but i was literally just choosing right at every option that i was given like the woman the woman told me i reached a crossroads up there there was a left and a right and i took the right so i'm gonna have to head back and then uh, i guess take a left eh Hello. Which way do I go? I went this way, but there's someone's house. I go back this way? Oh, yes. I cannot go this way, no. No, no. no okay. I, this way. Okay, thank you. Aye. Right. So, I guess I've went up a one-way path. That's what I've done. <laughs> Just two houses up there. In fact, look. There's a wee path around here. I reckon I can go this way then. Surely this way I can go. Right, let's try this. Looks like this has gone back into the forest. Ah, oh, this looks familiar. In fact, that's where I went to the right to go to the uh, Candy Town viewpoint. So I've just done a big loop around there and I guess that's most of the park done then. I still haven't seen a snake though. I'm on the lookout. I want to see a snake before I leave here. Let me look. And now I'm a bit lost because I've got one, two, three possible directions. What way did I come? I guess I'm, if I've always been taking right, so I must have come from that way, right? and then turned right here. So I've got these options. Maybe this is another loop. Maybe, I don't know what this is saying. Maybe it's saying, danger, do not go this way. Who knows? Uh, I guess I've got time. So I'll go up and see if this is maybe like another loop all the way around there or not. In fact, there is something in English here. Lady Horton's Drive, a German hermitage. Well, an Akodimali. I have no idea what that is. Any of those phrases, so. I guess I'm going to go and find out. Some nice sounds in this forest, isn't it? Really relaxing, especially as I seem to have the whole place to myself now as well. What's this up here? Oh, more squiggly signs and Kodamali, that's what, oh, Kodamali viewpoint. And Pasuela, well, Kudamali viewpoint, maybe that is another viewpoint. In fact, look at these wee, I like it when the tree roots make these kind of like ladders, these steps to let you go up. Well, those Frenchies, they said the viewpoint was rubbish. Maybe they were talking about that viewpoint I've just been to, and maybe they didn't know about this viewpoint. Or maybe this was the viewpoint they were talking about where you couldn't see anything through the trees. I don't know, but I guess in about 20 seconds we're going to find out, aren't we? So let's just get ourselves up here, hop, hop, hop and find out. Well, <laughs> there you go. Oh wait, wait, there's more. I think this is the one that the Frenchies were talking about, isn't it? This is where you can just get to the peak of the forest, off the mountain, and it's all trees. 
that's what they were talking about. I think you can basically just get up to there. Uh, but I need to find out for myself uh, what it's like. So let's just get up there. Oh, I feel like when you're doing a hike this steep, you deserve a nice view at the top, you deserve it, you work for it. I can imagine it being very disappointing if you hoofed yourself all the way up here for now. Aye. Let's see what we have. Oh, this is a long way up. This is a long, long way up. And it better be worth it. I expect a decent view. Look, I can see something. I can see something right there, which is, which looks like some kind of place that they've marked the viewpoint with. A rest area, a place to sit and admire the view. But all I see is bloody trees. And, uh, hi, that's it, we're at the peak. We're at the bloody peak. <laughs> and they were right. I should have trusted our French friends or wherever they are from because they were correct. This is the absolute peak. And there is nothing but this. Trees. More trees. Even more trees. And the trees that I just came and hiked through. So that's what rewards me for my bloody efforts for getting all sweaty but never mind I've burned off most of that koto by now <laughs> so something productive came from this is there further that I can go I don't even know but I will have a wee look as always you always have a wee look and see what's there aye hopefully this is a way back down <sighs> right so it started raining, so I've had to take shelter. And it's not that I'm scared of the rain or anything. I grew up in Scotland where it rains most days. I'm well used to it, I can handle the rain. Unfortunately though, this bag isn't waterproof and it's containing four GoPro batteries, which I can't possibly get damaged, guys. Uh, it's not because I'm scared of the rain that I'm hiding here under this bloody tree, just waiting for the rain to stop. Uh, if those batteries get damaged, I can't vlog properly. One battery in this GoPro only lasts probably less than an hour. And the way that I vlog, I just have the camera rolling all the time. And because you know, you never know what you might see and you never know what you might comment on. And I kind of want to just like comment on stuff as I see it rather than stop, think, turn the camera on uh, like that. So I am protecting these batteries with my dear life because if they get damaged, I can't easily replace them. And then I can't vlog for the rest of my trip in Sri Lanka properly, so for the sake of the vlog, I'm hiding here under the trees, in the rain at some fake viewpoint that's not even a viewpoint that I shouldn't have even bothered coming up I should have trusted the French guys and uh, oh, I think it's starting to stop it's starting to slow down a wee bit anyway but uh, aye, I'm basically stuck here until the rain stops, aren't I? Okay, so I started walking because the rain turned into a drizzle but now that I'm kind of in the open, it's turned into proper rain again. So I've got the GoPro batteries inside the GoPro bag and I've got a cap, a baseball cap wrapped around that. And then I've got the bag wrapped around that. And then I've got the body wrapped around, <laughs> my body wrapped around the bloody uh, bag. So kind of protected, I'm doing my best. If you don't see any more vlogs after this one for a while, you'll know what happened. And if you do, you'll know it's courtesy of me saving these batteries for you guys, the viewers. The next few vlogs you see from Sri Lanka are courtesy of this effort by your man. Protect him with dear life like a baby. Like it's a baby and I'm escaping a war zone or something and I'm protecting it. There's gunfire, there's cannons, they're shooting at me. But all I care about is this baby protecting its life. That's me, that's your man. As he gets out of this bloody park. Aye. You think they'll give me a discount since it rained halfway through? I don't think I got 660 rupees worth of value. Do you? Anybody? This park, I would say. 
It's worth about what the locals pay, 100 rupees. I think that's worth it. 600, 660, 662 in fact. That weird number. I don't think it's worth it. Any it raining or not raining. Uh, I mean, if you lived here, can you imagine every day paying 662 to come and use the place? I wouldn't. But if I lived in Candy and it was only 100, I'd probably pay it and come and go for wee jogs through here. Anyway, I think it's that way. I'm pretty sure it's that way. Past the pond and to the entrance. And let's get out of here. Ah, uh, so I'm back at the entrance and it looks like the rain has stopped and there's a tuk-tuk waiting there like a vulture waiting. Somebody's soaking wet, somebody needs a tuk-tuk ride home. Well, but the rain has now stopped and I'm already wet so I think you know what's going to happen there. The real pond getting more full. These people, oh well, there's more stuff up here that I hadn't seen. I haven't been up this way. Maybe ask them what is up this way. Hello. What is up here? I only went this way. I didn't go this way. Okay, it's kind of a circle. Oh, it's a circle. Oh, so I did stupid by going one way and the same way back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. oh it's a circle. Oh. Yeah, so you've done the circle now. You're finishing. No, the, we actually went the bypass, on the short. So we, we took the shortcut. Ah. But uh, if you can go from this side. Oh, this is one small circle here. Yeah, this ah. is a small circle. Ah, good. Uh, there's a, did you pass the monastery? No, I didn't. I went up this way. There's a viewpoint and the ah. information center, and I, I did this loop. But there's, you said there's another one with the yes, monastery yes, here. Yes, yes. Oh, I'll go see this one then. Okay, okay great. Now that the rain stopped. <laughs> okay, see you. Okay, great. Oh, really? Oh, an eagle? Yeah. Where about? Uh, you can see it? There, there. Oh, wow, I see it right there. Yeah. Oh, wow, it's huge. It's massive. Wow. <laughs> okay, thank you. I uh, should have brought binoculars. Like that man. Big eagle just sitting in the tree. Well, I was about to head out the exit and then the rain just stopped and then I noticed there's another whole section over here that I didn't even realise. I've just done one big loop up there and I think it's like a figure of eight. So look, there's more signs. Apparently a monastery and it's saying there's some caves here. Now I remember that lady when I came in here, she told me about some caves and I forgot all about it. And that sounds to me like the most interesting thing. They said there's a monastery. Maybe that is the caves are the monastery and that's where people are doing their Buddhist, um, what do you call it, meditation and all that. So let's charge on. Well, they're calling this the Ironwood Jungle. And ironwood, it doesn't mean a specific type of tree. There's not an ironwood tree, but ironwood just means a really dense, a really thick type of wood like this big beast of a tree, I guess, would be. Uh, it's a type of tree, the type of wood that if you chopped it down and put it in the sea, it would sink rather than float. And when I was in Samosa, Samosa Island in Sumatra in Indonesia, the Bataks, their beds, they were made from ironwood and they were nice and strong. I had a good lie down on one of them, it was nice. And uh, I guess that's the type of tree it would have been made from. Aye. And look at this. It's like a bloody Twizzler, isn't it? I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is called, but it's certainly quite cool, isn't it? Like a big Twizzler. It goes all the way. It wraps everywhere. I don't know how that possibly grows like that or anything. I wish somebody, maybe somebody in the comments knows about this and could tell me. But uh, it just seems to be here, right here, nowhere else. But, uh, <laughs> it's kind of cool. Never really seen that before, like that. Aye, very cool. Oh, this long Twizzler stuff, it's everywhere. It is absolutely everywhere. Look, it spreads all the way here. And here, there's like a thicker piece of it. And it looks kind of like, in fact, right there, it looks kind of like a churros. You know, the, those Mexican donut sweet things, the long things. That's what that looks like. But I'm just amazed. How does it, it looks like it's grown from the ground there and it goes straight up. How can it possibly go straight up? I don't know, defying gravity, and then wraps around the tree and goes straight back down. There, amazing. And uh, aye, this one, I guess they're propping it up to stop it blocking the path, but oh, in fact, what is this? Puss well. This is the stuff, this is what I'm telling you about it. Puss well. A giant liana called Puss well. It's about 200 years old and is spreading over nearly two hectares within this forest. In spite of its enormous length, it carries a large pod which is nearly five feet long. Wow, this is the first time I've ever seen or heard about this stuff. 
It's incredible, isn't it? And I guess that's the official, I guess, Latin name for it. But just take a look. Incredible. Look at this one. It goes all the way up to the top of that bloody tree. Huh. Incredible. Huh. Hello. I'm amazed by this stuff. This um, Postwell. This uh, twirly stuff is incredible. You've seen this before? Oh. This stuff, yeah, the, this thing, it goes all the way up and goes around like this. It's really cool, yeah. Yeah, Very nice yeah I'm just amazed. And I've never seen this before, ever in my life. Oh, what's your country? Yeah, Scotland. Scotland? Yeah, I don't no. think we have this in Scotland. Uh, Scotland never have the, this part? No, not like this, with the one going round and round and round, all the way up. Oh. This normal in Sri Lanka or only in this oh, forest? Only in Udawata, uh, Udawata Kelly? Yeah. Yeah, only in here? Yeah. Oh, wow, it's pretty special. Yeah. Really nice. Oh, nice uh, to okay, you. nice to meet you too. Have a nice walk. Okay, bye bye. Well, it's 5 p.m. This park closes at 5.30. I reckon it would take me about half an hour to get back to the entrance from here. But I'm so close to this cave. In fact, that's it right there, I think. What is this? Wait a minute. That doesn't look like a cave. That looks like a bloody... What is that? Is this supposed to be the cave? There's a bloody brick wall there. I was expecting a stone cave carved into the bloody mountain or something. Oh look, <laughs> this is scary. I need a torch or something. Look at this, there's a bloody head there. Hello, hello, hello? Hello, anybody inside? Well, there's something in there. Hang on, I'm gonna get the torch on my phone. This is, I'm gonna have to make do with this. Let's see what is in here. Oh, any bats? No? Hello, hello? Well, it looks like somebody's been doing some kind of work. There's all sorts of spiders' webs. Oh, well, there's nothing much there. It's hardly a monastery, is it? But it looks like somebody's been doing some kind of work there and reading books. A little bit scary, especially. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I was going to say, especially with the head there, but that was a bloody, it looked like a, a skeleton when I just noticed that. And, uh, oh, here it looks like maybe this is like a wee temple that they've set up. There's a wee sleeping Buddha. I think that's meant to be a sleeping Buddha. Uh, aye, but pretty underwhelming, isn't it? Hardly worth a massive hike to get to. There are other caves. I don't know if I've got time. I don't know what any of that saves, says. Uh, there are other caves in other directions, but pff, I'm cutting it fine to get back to the to the entrance. I might try though, I might try. Let's just run up here and see if I've got time to follow a sign to another cave. Let's just hoofed our way up back these steps and see if we can make it happen. Oh wait, is there something through there? Oh there is, look. Something's painted on this. What is that? Oh it's a Buddha. It is a Buddha. Oh they've carved. I've carved some sort of Buddhist type of head into the rock there. That's pretty. And I guess maybe people come here and meditate under this rock. I'm just guessing that's what happens. But nice, it would be nice and peaceful, wouldn't it? You're literally just surrounded by trees, there's nothing. But the sound of the forest. Aye, that would be nice to meditate. Unfortunately, not got time for that, have I? Not got time for that, only got time for exploring and getting back to the entrance before they shut the bloody gates and I have to sleep here overnight. Oh, that wouldn't be much fun, would it? Sleeping under that rock. Just came to have a wee look, not to spend the bloody night. Right, let's explore. Maybe we've got time to see one more cave and then run back to the entrance. Maybe that's what we've got time to do. Let's just hoof our way up, going at some pace here. Man, these legs, ultra strong. Not even strong, ultra strong. Look at this. Just, whew, when you're short of time, you've got to make it happen. You have got to make it happen. Right. Ah, so that was that cave over there. I guess this one or this one, I don't know. Maybe we've got time to see this one or this one. Let's just have a run and see what's there as we try and beat the clock. Okay, so 10 minutes in that direction. I see nothing. It's quarter past five. They're closing the gates at half five. 
I don't know if that's going to take me around in a loop or not. I'm not going to chance it. I'm just going to head back to the gates and I'm going to run to make sure I get out of this park. I am not spending the night here. Let's get out of here. Oh, wee monkeys. Oh, aren't you adorable? Look at you, a big family of them. Oh, you're lovely. How many of them? There must be like 20 of them. Huh. They're all sitting there peacefully thinking all the visitors have left the park for the day. Look at this one with the wee baby. Oh, lovely. Oh, they're all just sitting relaxing, thinking all the visitors have left for the day. Now we can just enjoy ourselves, peace and tranquility. And then this big sweaty Scotsman. Aye, he's stuck in the park. He had one minute to look at the monkeys. Now he's going to have to run even faster <laughs> to get out of this park to make it back to Candy. Right, let's do this. Let's get home. Aye. Oh, well, I made it with three minutes to go. Well, maybe two minutes to go by the time I get to the gates. And, uh, aye, that was my wee venture in Udawata Kelly National Park. I don't know if it's a national park, it is a park. How did that tuk tuk get in here? That's disgraceful. Nobody comes in here. Maybe somebody was too lazy and phoned for a tuk tuk to get them back in time for the <laughs> for the gates closing. But, eh, uh, looks like the gates are going to close. Made it back just in time. Oh, very good. Doesn't look like it's raining. Things are going well. Guess we'll let myself out through this gate here. Oh, oh, this one locked already. Looks like I'm gonna have to get out of this one. Beep, beep. Move yourself, mate. Okay. We did it. So like I say, that was me from Uda Wata Kelly Park. It was a fun wee time. Didn't see any snakes, didn't see any bats, did see the monkeys, did see a deer, which was unexpected. How are you? Good. Yes. Tuk tuk, no. Strong legs. <laughs> See you, my friend. Okay. So, it was a fun wee adventure, like I said. And until the next time, guys. You know how it goes. I'll see you on the next video.